Uh, I'm here with Fiona from the food cupboard. Um, we just wanted to take a minute and talk with Fiona and see how she's doing and how, uh, how, how things are going at the Westchester food cupboard. So uh, Fiona, thank you okay. for taking the time to jump on this call. Well, it's wonderful to be in touch with uh, our friends at the Baptist Church of Westchester. Yes. You know, we love you all and um, we're so grateful for your ongoing support. And we look forward to the day when we'll all be able to see you in, in, in reality and, um, and have your youth group come back and, and come and hear you sing and yes, do yes. all of those good things that we're so used to doing with your congregation. So thank, thank it's, you. it's so a strange time. Yes, indeed, indeed. So I know from, from looking at the Cupboard's Facebook page that you guys are very much still active. Um, I, I just wanted to start with the question, what kind of, um, I guess, changes have taken place at the Cupboard to, um, to accommodate some of the, the unique circumstances with, uh, the, with mm -hmm. social distancing? Yeah, I mean, we, we really had to rethink everything that we were doing um, rather rapidly and, and things sort of changed and evolved uh, you know, almost day to day. So what we're doing now is um, our clients do not come into the cupboard at all. Uh, we have a drive through serv um, service where we distribute food and we have um, a minimal amount of volunteers who come in because obviously the safety of our volunteers, the safety of our clients is, is paramount. Um, so we, we have um, pre-packing going on, pre-packing of food, uh, and then our clients drive through and are, with minimal social interaction, get handed um, food. Fortunately, we, we do have a lot of food and uh, we're able to continue to buy. Um, some of the prices have gone up. Um, some things we are struggling to purchase. Other things we have a lot of. So um, we're really managing very well. Um, and the clients seem to be really, really pleased with with what we're able to do. That's that's great to hear. So, what's the um, what's the actual uh, pickup process like right now? Okay. Well, so if somebody is already um, a client, uh, they just will drive around in their car and give their name, and then depending on the number of people in the family, they get given so many bags of food, and then in addition, they get added um, meat and fresh produce and dairy items. And then if there are specific, you know, specific needs that the clients have, um, then those get added as, as well. Uh -huh. uh, for new clients, um, it's different. Um, when we are seeing a lot of new people coming because of the virus and the um, increasing number of people who are finding themselves just in, in dire straits and, and struggling. Right. So um, basically we are just requiring proof of residence, mm -hmm. number of people in the family. Okay. And we're not being strict really at all and um, we're serving as many people as we can because we know there's a huge need out there and we're just glad that we're here to be able to um, to help people that's great that's great so um, yeah I uh, is there anything so you're you're saying the, the cupboards actually stocked pretty well at this at this moment I guess mm -hmm. if, if people were looking to help out in any way with with um, donations or it sounds like volunteer wise you guys are in okay shape. You're not looking to bring in more volunteers at this time, but I, I guess in what ways could, could people help? Okay. Um, first of all, the, the, the um, response from the community has been absolutely overwhelming. People are, are so kind. We were, we were talking about um, silver linings in all of this. And I think we're just seeing how kind and compassionate our community is. It, it's been absolutely amazing. And, um, we couldn't we I mean, basically we couldn't do what we do without the support of the of the community um yeah in terms of volunteers we are doing okay um we don't want to um have too many people in the cupboard at any one time um even packing up because of the social distancing and, and safety and so on um in terms of um, major food drives we're saying no thank you very much um okay. for different reasons one because it it's putting our um our wonderful donors at risk coming to go and shop for us. Secondly, um, having food come in uh, to the cupboard is actually very labor intensive and time consuming for our um, short, you know, few number of volunteers that we have. And finally, really, we can buy so much more with um, cash donations and store gift cards because we can get um, good prices. And um, so if people want to help, um, store gift cards, Giants, um, ShopRite, 
would be wonderful. Uh, cash donations, checks to the cupboard or online. Um, okay. um, yeah, so is the easiest way to do that uh, through the website? Yeah, uh, that would be one way of doing it. If people yeah. would like to make a donation online, it's, it's easy to do. Um, and our website is uh, wcfood.org. Okay. Um, easy to make a donation online. Great, yeah. All right, well, uh, we appreciate your time and it's, uh, it was great talking, talking with you. Likewise, thank you so much. Bye-bye.